Greetings, my chosen brothers and sisters. Now, this word is a very powerful word for you. To some of you, it is going to open up your eyes. Because some of you have grown up in an environment where people have looked down on you. Just because you cannot perform well in one activity, just because you are not gifted enough in one area, it doesn't mean that you're not gifted up, you don't have the gift in another area. Remember, each and every single person has a gift in him or her. You may not be good at a marathon, you may not be good at sports, but you are good. You could be good. You could be good in writing. You could be a good writer. You could be a good public speaker. You could be a good singer. You could be good at children. That you have this gift in you. That kids are attracted to you. That the way you speak to the kids makes them want to be with you. You could be good to animals like dogs, cats. So you have to discover your gift. Every single person is gifted. You are the body of Christ. Look at the body. Each body part has a specific functionality. Each body part. Even your fingers. Remember your, your hand. When you look at your hand, it has fingers. Each finger has its own functionality. There is no finger that I believe is superior from each other. Each finger is needed. Even the pinky finger, the thumb finger is needed. If one is cut off, you will suffer loss. If the hand is cut off, you will suffer great loss. So each body part is needed. God created you unique. You are unique. You are the body of Christ. You are part of the body. So you have work to do. Quit saying that you, you, you don't know what, what to do. You don't, have what, you, don't, you don't know what your gift is. You just have to discover your gift. The more you go after God, the more you read the scripture, the word of God, he will reveal these things unto you. Brothers and sisters, today's word is you are chosen. You are chosen. You did not choose God, but he chose you. God chose you. He chose, he selected you. You are very special to him. Very special. Out of billions of people, he chose you. And he gave you a name. Forget about the, the name that your family gave you. Or your parents gave you at birth. God has given you a unique identity. Unique from everyone else. I want to read to you a scripture that is going to be a blessing to you. This scripture is from the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. And it reads: But you are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light who once were not a people but are now the people of god who had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy this is a very powerful scripture especially if you have been going through depression. If you have been going through depression. If you don't know who you are in Christ Jesus. This is a powerful scripture for you. The scripture claims this that you are a chosen generation. Not they. But you. You who is watching me like right now. You who is listening to me right now. The scripture says you are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. Your generation has been chosen. A royal priesthood. You are royalty. 
A lot of people don't know it. You are royalty. You are, I repeat, you are royalty. You are a royal priesthood. A holy nation. A holy nation. His own special people. I love these powerful words. You are his own special people. Whenever you feel depressed, whenever you are facing identity problems, go back to this scripture. It is in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. You are a special people. You are special. You are not just anybody else. You are not. And the scripture says, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He called you. He called you. Remember, he chose you and he called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Some of you were in so much darkness. But God called you. He called you. He called you. And the scripture says, Who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. You were not a people, but now you are a people of God. You have mercy. So no matter what you are going through, no matter what the world calls you to be, brothers and sisters, God has a different way how he calls you. Forget about what people say about you and think about what God says about you. People have called you all sorts of funny names. People have called you a liar. People have called you someone who's insane, crazy, out of his mind. People have called you mad. But what does God call you? you, have, you God calls you his own son. God calls you a chosen generation. God calls you a royal priesthood because he called you you are royalty. You have the mind of Christ. The reason as to why they can't figure out who you are is because they are not of you. They will never be of you. So focus on God who called you. Brothers and sisters, it's the end of this world. Until next time, God bless you.